assalamu alaikum bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, today we will start our lecture number 12 uh, in the previous le lecture we have uh, covered numerical of the closed system today we will start open system so let's move towards our lecture yes we have done this numerical okay now open system what do you mean by open system in the uh, in the first session of thermodynamics we have studied three types of uh, system closed system isolated system and open system uh, open system is that in in which both energy and mass can be uh, transferred from a control volume for an example like this picture you have seen this picture this is the actual uh, gas turbine of a fighter plane engine in which air is coming and then uh, energy is coming uh, through a uh, chemical energy through uh, is coming uh, uh, via uh, fuel and uh, the fuel mostly the aeroplane use jet fuel that, that is kerosene based uh, jet fuel it is burned in the combustion chamber here and then propel it through the turbine to nozzle and it is leaving with the high pressure and temperature high velocity to produce a thrust positive thrust to run that engine in the po uh, forward direction so can a uh, plane can be fly with that thrust so it is it is an example of open system in which both fuel uh, like in this system the air is coming the fuel is coming combust and leaving the system so both both fuel is, fuel fuel is, uh, enter in the control volume or as well as energy can uh, enter in the control volume or uh, radiate from the system like the boundary of uh, if, if we consider this uh, turbine as a control volume the surrounding uh, casing of the jet engines is uh, radiates radiate heat energy to the surrounding so it is also releasing the energy and it is also releasing the mass and the mass is also coming in the control volume so it is the uh, it is the example of open system now let's uh, let's move towards the basic uh, concept just like in the closed system we have studied uh, first law of thermodynamics that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but uh, transformed from from one phase to another uh, in in a closed system only energy is needed so we didn't touch the conservation of mass but in open system we need to understand the conservation of mass also yes in conservation of mass uh, it just like energy mass uh, its energy is conserved property and it cannot be created or destroyed during a process like in the figure uh, in below this paragraph that is 2 kg of uh, hydrogen gas mixed with uh, 16 kg of uh, oxygen gas combining uh, these two gases gives the formation of water so basically uh, mass is not creating or destroying but it is changing uh, through a chemical reaction from one phase form to another simply so, but the mass is conserved for a closed system the conservation of mass principle is intensity used by requiring that the mass of the system remains constant during the process so in the closed system we uh, we consider the inside the mass it is not reacting with anything else and it is a fixed uniform mass but in open system there 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 might be any chemical com uh, reaction just like in the previous example we have a gas turbine engine in which uh, fuel is burning with the air and producing uh, carbon dioxide and uh, of course h2 the combustion of like ch4 uh, goes into the carbon dioxide and water formation so in this uh, so in the open system mass can be uh, transform or can uh, make chemical reaction in the control volume anyway uh, <coughs> yes the conservation of mass principle for a control volume can be expressed as the net mass transfer or from a control volume during the time interval that t that is equal to net change increase or decrease in the total mass within the control volume delta t that is like the example of top uh, the net change in the control volume if we consider this uh, tub as a control volume 
now don't um, uh, confuse with the concept concept of changing volume work that we have done in the previous lectures uh, for a open system we will only select a particular control volume in which the volume is not changing so consider that tub as a whole the net mass coming to the tap from the tap and leaving from the its sink so the net change will be the total mass entering the system like for an example in the tap the water is coming like 50 kg and uh, for if i if, if i need to zoom this yes uh, mass in is 50 kg and uh, mass out is 30 kg so the net change in the mass flow rate will be 20 kg so by from this equation uh, for an example 50 kg for second or for a minute any time interval the mass is coming and 30 kg is leaving from the sink so the net change will be the 20 kg means that this tub will be filled with the uh, 20 kg but at every delta t like if we consider that 50 kg per second so in every second 20 kg of mass will be added in the control volume of that uh, tub okay so now move forward okay again if we uh, from this equation you uh, you under, understand this equation that mass in is minus mass out is change in the mass in control volume how much mass is adding or the, uh, or removing from the system for an example it can be reversed also uh, if the 20 kg mass is coming and 30 uh, kg mass is uh, leaving oh, sorry 50 kg mass of uh, in the uh, in this tip is in this tub is leaving so the net change will be again 20 kg but in that case the water is removing with the rate of 20 kg and if we consider with second so it will remove reducing with 20 kg per second if we take it as a minute it will be reducing as a 20 kg per minute so when we divide this uh, mass in minus mass out a change in mass in control volume with respect to divide by time so it becomes rate form so uh, to uh, to elaborate that uh, m divided by t the short form in thermodynamics is, is dot we place the dot in the uh, alphabetic order to express it is it is the rate change anything uh, any pa uh, any parameter which is, which comes with the dot on above means that it is a rate like m dot means mass divided by time so let's uh, if for an example in this uh, particular example 50 kg per second is mass dot m dot minus 30 kg per second is mass out is equal to 20 kg per second is increasing in the tub and a uh, vice versa if we remove uh, uh, reverse the value that 20 kg will be reducing from the tub so let's move further now uh, we have studied two equation uh, in the closed system one is that uh, the delta e is equal to q minus w and the delta will be delta e will be kinetic potential and internal energy okay and another way equation we have uh, delta e is equal to sum of uh, kinetic potential internal energy is equal to q minus w in the same way uh, for the open system we have a uh, we sorry in the same way uh, in open system we donate uh, uh, in the in, in the closed system uh, Uh, for the donation for uh, yes to denote or uh, to indicate energy we represent theta in that open system just to uh, differentiate between the uh, closed system and open system so for the open system we denote uh, with or indicate with theta so theta will be uh, again the theta term will be as it is internal energy that is delta e in the open system we do uh, we denote with theta uh, the remaining from theta term will be as it is that like uh, internal kinetic energy can uh, can uh, sorry internal energy kinetic energy and potential energy added with pressure uh, pv that is a flow energy pressure 
get uh, PV. It's again same uh, we have uh, covered in the closed system. It is a pressure volume work. But in that equation, it is the flow energy. In that case, it is uh, we are representing for a uh, piston uh, moving above and below, or moving uh, forward or reverse. But in here case, the flow energy is due to the work which is flowing the fluid. We applying pressure uh, to the liquid or to the gas to flow in a particular control control volume and out from the system. Without energy, the flow will not move in a control volume or without out uh, and out the system. Like adding the energy, we have a uh, we have an uh, machine like pump. So pumps add uh, flow energy to the liquid, and we have a machine like compressor. Compressor add uh, ener flow energy in the gases, like in compressed air. Uh, when you inflate the tire of the car, you are uh, you can see that there there uh, there is a compressor stall in the system, by which we are adding or adding energy in the air by adding in the first in the compression and the, from that vessel the air is transferred to your uh, transferred to your tire. So it is basically flow energy and again. As we have done it previously uh, in numericals, like uh, we use that work convert wa uh, right work in the form of PV. So here we already have PV. So PV pressure volume work plus internal energy becomes enthalpy. It is the sum of pressure volume work and internal energy. So we can directly write the total energy of flowing fluid will be enthalpy plus uh, kinetic energy plus potential energy. You know, uh, you know that it in in every parameter it is uh, one one parameter is missing m. That uh, if we write with the m x, it becomes capital H, and m b square upon two is half m b square is kinetic energy. Same way m b h, uh, the height is written in the form of z. It is basically m g h, or uh, when we divide the whole equation with the mass, it becomes only g z. And all the parameter will be written in the small form as discussed earlier in the previous lecture. So this uh, picture easily uh, from this picture you can easily differentiate between the uh, the net energy of the uh, of of the closed system and open system. For the closed system, non-flowing fluid, the internal uh, the total energy will be the U. Uh, all the terms are written in the specific. That why it is in the small alphabetic order. Like a small e, like a small u, and a small g, small z. So a, a, a total energy will be internal kinetic energy. Uh, sorry, internal energy, kinetic energy, and potential energy. And for the flowing fluid, one energy is added, like flow energy, that is in the form of PV. So move on. So by uh, same by uh, the capital E. Is Included with the mass m, so the amount of energy transport in the system is will be the m theta. Theta represent the uh, specific form of all parameters. So by multiplying m, it becomes capital E, total energy. And by opening theta, we have a, in uh, we have a enthalpy. Enthalpy have two parameters. Uh, one is PV, flow energy, plus internal energy. It is a combination of both parameter we can write as enthalpy h kinetic energy and potential energy and when the whole system divide with the time like uh, m theta divided by t so we can write this m divided by t like uh, we have uh, i given as an example in the first and the second slide like if uh, if the flow of mass like 50 kg per second so when we divide the system it can be write like dot m dot theta In the same way, when divided by this, it becomes m dot, and the whole parameter is uh, as it is as before. So the energy balance for the open system, like in the closed system, we have energy balance uh, delta E. Delta E has all the parameter internal kinetic potential is equal to Q minus W, and as we divide by the time, it becomes the total energy dE control volume divided by dT. And by dividing Q divided by T, so it becomes Q dot. Uh, dividing work with uh, respect to time, it becomes dot. W dot. This is the rate work produced. It is the rate heat transfer. 
एंड द रेट मास इन इन द सिस्टम एंड द रेट मास आउट फ्रॉम द सिस्टम एंड फॉर द स्टडी फ्लो सिस्टम टू ओपन सिस्टम आर क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स टू कैलकुलेट टू सॉल्व लाइक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गैस टर्बाइन यू हैव सीन इन द फिस्ट फर्स्ट फिगर थियोरिटिकल कैलकुलेशन इज वेरी टफ फॉर द ओपन सिस्टम वी हैव सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक एंसिस फ्लूड and this fluid i also uh, use that software for uh, commercial consultancy recently i have done one project regarding uh, the ansys point and also i have done uh, as you i i have used that uh, uh, software in my research work and also published uh, my two papers from uh, this uh, uh, ansys point software in which uh, this kind of open system problems are analyzing so of uh, calculating that or analyzing that it is very difficult uh, when we have we don't have a parameter like how we cannot place a mass flow meter in in every point in the system we have a multiple inlet we have a multiple outlet so to ease the system we have one option by constraining the system to steady flow or steady flow uh, by by uh, calling the system steady flow or by uh, analyzing steady flow system is is uh, quite easier than a normal system that is not steady flow system first of all i would like to uh, explain what is steady flow system a steady flow system is uh, is simply uh, with uh, that will not uh, change with respect to time the parameter any system in which the parameter is not changing with respect to time is called a steady flow system for an example like uh, okay we take the same example of tub uh, in the previous in this uh, in this figure you can see that it is not a steady flow system because 50 kg mass is is, uh, is uh, incoming the tub and the 30 uh, 30 kg is leaving so the 20 kg is increasing in the tub so we can uh, so for every time like if we if we have a rate 50 kg per second and 30 kg per se- uh, second leaving the system so every second 20 kg of water is adding in the tub so by respect to time the parameters are changing so we cannot cal- call them as steady flow system but uh, if if we convert that example like this the mass is coming in the system is 50 kg and uh, 50 kg is out leaving the system so the net change of the mass will be zero then it is called a steady flow system because in the inlet condition the mass values are not changing the parameter is not changing with respect to time if we if we uh, for an example after 20 second the tub level will be same because the same am- amount of the mass is coming and the same am- amount of the wa- uh, um, uh, mass is uh, uh, leaving the system so the height of the tub uh, will not increase even after 20 second 30 second 2 hour 3 hour so at the parami- in, in in the parameter in which the uh, pro- properties are not changing with, with respect to time it is uniform like every open system in the start is no unsteady system because the temperature in, in increase or decrease but after some time interval the properties become steady for an example when when i start the engine or generator sorry engine in, in engine it is not a steady flow system because we are changing the speed of the engine so where sometime the mass is uh, more and sometime is mass is less uh, we can take example of uh, generator if we start the generator and apply 20 kilowatt load constantly so in the start when the combustion takes place the, temp- the temperature will increase so with respect to time the temperature is changing so it is not it is not a steady system it is unsteady but when it reaching uh, at uh, after 2 2 3 minutes when it reaching uh, up to the normal parameter and up when applying the constant load of 20 kW the temperature of the engine will not increase or decrease after time interval even after 2 hours 3 hours because it constantly uh, constantly 
releasing the heat into the environment to, uh, through uh, their radiator so after in the start of the uh, any open system it is unsteady but after some uh, some time interval in some application the system becomes a steady flow system so uh, steady flow system are easy so we will only uh, we will only solve the numerical of steady flow system because it is much easier than the normal unsteady system so by the applying of condition of steady uh, steady system that the, uh, the net energy <coughs> balance with respect to time will become zero because the change of change of energy is not increasing or decreasing with respect to time so it becomes zero let's suppose uh, a steady system that in in, in which um, 20 kilowatts of uh, energy is adding into the system and 20 kilowatt of energy is leaving the system so by minusing all that energy the answer will be zero because by the uh, by the rate of uh, that energy it is not increasing or decreasing so it becomes zero okay and that variable can be change, interpolate in different form so but the total energy will be zero that is that delta e control volume of bt will be zero but the q net and w net like q net means q2 minus q1 in q2 their value will be different q1 is the value will be different but the w net the value will increase or decrease so it is compensate this value but the net change of all sum and summation or minusing all that system give result zero so by this equation we can easily calculate the in like q net w net e mass e mass out sub parameter in the next numerical you get uh, the better idea of this uh, equation we will utilize equation in our next uh, numerical well i use that pen for uh, uh, for a writing pad you experience in my previous numerical so let's start our numerical uh, it is an example of 5 in, uh, 5.11 from the same uh, sanjil book yeah uh, like yeah uh, the electric yes uh, the electrical uh, the electric heating system used in many house consists of simple duct with the resistance heater air is heated as it flows over the resistance wire consider 15 kW electrical heating system air enter the heating section at 100 kPa and 70 dB with the volume flow rate of 150 m per minute if heat is lost from the air in the duct due to the surrounding at the rate of 200 W determine the temperature of the air so it is an example of steady flow system how 150 meter cube per minute the air is coming and the same amount of air is releasing from the system okay so it is an example of uh, steady flow system we mark this dotted line as a control volume uh, it is an example of hvac system like in the uh, so in in the winter season we need to get high temperature here so it is example of duct the same air conditioning duct is uh, heated with the electrical resisting wire like uh, in this wire also used in uh, iron press where you press your clothes so the air is com coming with the 17 degree and heated with the uh, electrical uh, resistance wire uh, to that temperature which, which is comfortable to the human environment and we have to calculate that temperature the answer is 21.9 so we get uh, this is the basically answer 20 we have to calculate this answer the air is coming is with the uh, 17 degree centigrade with uh, flow rate 150 and the pressure of 100 pascal and when the leaving the from this duct uh, the heat loss is around 200 watt and we applied the electrical work up around 15 kilo watt so let's uh, solve this example Yes, yeah, so let's solve this numerical. Uh, we have uh, 15 kilowatt electrical heater, 150 meter cube of uh, air flow with 70 degree centigrade and pressure 100 kilo pascal and uh, 20 100 200 watt is heat is losing from the from system to surrounding. So let's solve 
this numerical in the F node. We have F node. Now I will uh, close the camera for a while. Yes, we have data. W is 15 kilowatt. Time T1 is uh, 17 degree that is 290 Kelvin. And uh, we have uh, mass flow rate, sorry, volume flow rate. So we, uh, we, we represent uh, volume. So by putting that dot, it means volume flow rate. So, uh, sorry, uh, we, uh, we have a mass flow rate in the meter cube per uh, sorry it is the volume flow rate 150 meter cube per minute so um, and uh, i think i write all the parameters and p1 p1 is 100 kilo pascal now let's solve this example uh, first of all we apply the same steady flow equation that zero is equal to q minus w plus e dot in minus e dot out it is a flow energy in and flow energy uh, not only flow the total energy in the incoming and the uh, total energy uh, outgoing uh, in the open system that consists of all internal kinetic potential and uh, also uh, flow energy so let's solve this numerical and now 0 is equal to uh, how much q uh, uh, heat is leaving from the system so we can write minus 200 200 watt or if we solve in the kilowatt we can write this 0 0.2 0 0.2 why 200 when we apply divide uh, yes we didn't write so that is 200 watt but if we apply in uh, kilowatt the 200 divided by 1000 so it becomes 0.2 kilo here we are directly writing in the kilowatt because we will get answer in the kilo pascal kilo joules etc so minus what what is 15 kilowatt plus e uh, e n and E in we can write this uh, like delta E E in minus E out is delta E the change of energy we can write this in the that form so when oh sorry uh, I can I directly write minus 15 uh, we have to apply the sign of uh, the sign the sign convention so uh, when the heat is leaving from the system we apply minus but when the uh, work is putting on the system as electrical is heating in the system so we uh, the sign of conversion will be minus so minus minus becomes plus so please notice that we this sign of conversion makes problems in the numerical so for easiness i can write like this this is formula minus and this is a sign conversion minus so it becomes minus minus plus so it becomes 14.8 15 minus 2 is 14.8 and from the delta E system we can write uh, open that in the form of delta PV flow energy plus uh, delta U kinet, uh, internal energy plus uh, delta KE plus delta PE. So kinetic and potential energy will be zero because the duct is stationary. It is not increasing height or it is not moving in the roads or any system like before. So that will be zero. So when we uh, put this uh, uh, into that, it becomes minus 14.8 and from right side we have two parameters left. PV plus U. We can write the delta here also. So 
दिस कम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट इट इज वॉट प्रेशर वॉल्यूम प्लस इंटरनल एनर्जी इज पैनेट इज इन थैल्पी सो वी कैन राइट इज डेल्टा एच रिमेंबर दैट इन द इक्वेशन इट इज ई इन सो इट इज ई वन माइनस ई टू सो अगेन इन वेन वी अप्लाई डेल्टा एच मीन्स एच वन माइनस एच टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट एट सो लेट नेक्स्ट इट इज माइनस फोर्टीन पॉइंट एट इजिकल टू इजिकल टू माइन एच वन माइनस वी कैन ओपन डेल्टा एच एच वन माइनस एच टू वी कैन राइट दिस लाइक फॉर अब बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग विद माइनस इट बिकम्स फोर्टीन पॉइंट एट एंड वी कैन राइट दिस एच टू माइनस एच वन फॉर आवर इजीनेस बिकॉज In previous numerical, we also solve uh, h two minus h one. So it is a total enthalpy, and when when we write in the specific form, we can write this like m h two minus h one. Okay, it is fourteen point eight. Now, now in this question, uh, we can get h one from the table a seventeen because we know the t one that is two ninety Kelvin or seventeen uh, degree centigrade. But what about the mass? We have to calculate the mass because we know volume flow rate, but not mass. So we can get uh, help from the uh, uh, gas equation question. That is P V is equal to M R T. And when we divide with time, because now the parameters are with the flow rate, it becomes P V dot is equal to M dot R T. For it is uh, M dot. Here in case because uh, I just make a mistake. Yes, I write that this uh, dot. We can also write this dot two here also. And even in the numerical, you can see that the parameter are two hundred watt per second. So it is fifteen kilo watt per second. So it is also the rate. Okay. So uh, when we open this is a okay, dot. I just Correct in all the formula. It is dot dot h. So when we open this delta h, we can write like m dot h to minus one. Anyway, we have to calculate m dot when we m dot m dot becomes p v dot is r t and m dot is equal to p is hundred kilo pascal. We left in the kilo form because the r value is kilo joules per kg in some way. So The kilo kilo will be cancelled out. Volume rate, volume flow rate is 150 meter cube per minute. So by taking it second, we have to divide by 60 second. Then I can show this. It is 150 meter cube per minute. So by putting this in the second, we have to divide with the 60. So we are divide by this, and the R value we get the value of R for of air from the again uh, SI tables. This point two eight seven zero, and the tem temperature we have to apply the temperature in the in in the form of uh, Kelvin. So it is two ninety seventeen degree centigrade is two ninety Kelvin. So by from this equation we use the calculator. I already solved this uh, numerical, so I know that answer. By solving this, we get the answer three kg per second. Three kg per second. So we apply fourteen point now divide by mass is three kg per second, and by opening this formula, it becomes H one is equal to H two minus H one goes here H one, and uh, from table A seventeen H one is equal to Now we go to the table A seventeen. Calculate uh, the H of two 
290. So from 290 Kelvin, the edge is also 290. So we can write the H1 is 290. And now 14.8.3, 14.8 divided by 3 plus 290 is equal to H2. Now we get H2 value that is also 294. So if, the, if we get the answer 294, 4 plus 290 is 294. Now from same table A17, uh, that A17, mm, T2 is equal to that. H2 is equal to 294. So we get a uh, answer in the Kelvin and convert answer in the degree, we get the answer. So now move towards H. Uh, what is H2? 294. So you can see that the same value. The, uh, if the H is 290, the temperature is 290. So if the 295 H, the temperature is also 295. Now you can see the answer that the the value of H the value of H is same as temperature. So we do not get uh, the uh, exact value of H in the table, but we can identi identify the uh, the temperature when if we getting the temp uh, H value is 294, the temperature will also be 294. So or by accuracy you can interpolate, but here we are not interested in interpolation. So at 294 value, the temperature will also be 294. And by minus 273, you get answer 21.9 degrees centigrade. So this is answer. Uh, I hope you get um, this numerical easy and uh, it is just uh, just the same as previous numerical just we add the new equation this q minus the b in the previous equation we have uh, delta e is equal to q minus the b but here we have e in minus e out in the form of delta e and in by opening that it becomes al almost the same equation as we did the numerical in previous lecture so till then hudafis we will see in next uh, upcoming week.